Alright, here we go. So yeah, I got this email from a client the other day, and she wants to do a boudoir shoot, but her husband told her he doesn't really care about useless photos of her naked. What? Taken by another man. You, what? What did he say? And he know damn well he gets some cootie shots from her on his iPhone. So I don't know why he's trying to But that's not it. useless. No. But because I'm taking some professional news. That's going to cost money. That's going to cost coin coin. That it's useless. Well, I think he's useless. I, so it's, calm it's down. A wrap. I think he is sick. <laughs> Divorce. We ain't ever talking to him again. <laughs> not on the table. Okay, 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 okay. But. His thing is he doesn't want a male photographing his wife, right? I mean, how does how does y'all's man feel about that? I mean, I I like PP, so I, I mean, let's be real. I, I they ain't got nothing that I want. I just think it goes. It's so much more than that, you know. Like, it's but they don't see that. Yeah, I know. Maybe if they need to. Meet you. Right. So well, 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 let's say that you were, you know, straight. Well, I, I mean, but let's use that as, a, as an example of why they might not want to take their pictures in front of a straight guy that might be kind of pervy and trying to see his wife. So okay, so first off, this isn't a 50 year old man in his basement <laughs> taking pictures of somebody on a on a backdrop. Like, this is a professional boudoir studio. Like, this is a business. This is a business. Like Google, Matt Matthews Photography. This is your business. <laughs> this is your business. <laughs> like Google, hello, read reviews. Like see what people say about it. You know, like I could understand when people think naked photos, they think like old creepy dude in the basement. But like it's 2019. Let's be real. And there ain't like these women ain't got nothing that I want. Well, I think if he's gonna go as far to say that these photos are useless, it goes more about him being insecure than about you know your sexuality. Right, because right. no man is gonna turn down a, a sexy picture. Huh. No, man. everybody wanting one, we either want a new or we want some sexy pictures. Right. So that's not that's not the issue. I think. That's... And no good man would belittle his wife and make her feel like those pictures are useless. Like they're not. Like that's something that obviously she's enjoyed doing. Like, and you should. He should be excited because she's excited. Right. Well, the thing is, people don't understand is that these photos aren't just sexy photos. Like, it's not just coming in here and having cute, cute pictures made. Like, that's not what it's about. Like, this experience is about seeing yourself in a different way. And I think it goes, it goes back to the whole misconception of the boudoir process and, you know, just the whole, like, Right. I mean, well, like on the, on the other side, like I've seen a, a few of your your pictures or whatnot. I, I think it's empowering, empowering for the female. You know what I'm saying? When I see it, because a lot of times some women are insecure and they take these pictures and they feel beautiful and they feel like you know empowered. So I think I think that's great. That's a great thing that a, a lot of women need to And some men feed off the insecurities of their lady, wife, whatever, girlfriend. They think y'all that makes them feel powerful to be able to squash her. Yeah. No, my mom has always said that misery loves yes, company. Exactly. And I feel like that is such a true thing. And just because they're miserable and they're insecure within themselves, there's no way they're going to let their wife go out and have pictures made that would make her feel good about herself. Well, I'm just trying to tell you, I wish my man would tell me I couldn't give me some news made because I'm divorced. Quick. It's a wrap. But, like, people don't realize I guess they don't realize like what this actually can do for you. This like, isn't about work. No. Oh, and if, this this business is really changing people's lives. Like it really is. And I'm just here to tell you if if this if you want to call this porn, you watching some boring ass porn. I need you to spice it up because this ain't it. Mm -hmm. Like, and people just don't get that. They don't understand like what it really does for your self esteem and for your self worth. Because women come in here all the time, you know come from a bad marriage, come from a bad relationship, divorce. or divorce, or abusive husbands, or, or whatever. Like they're about read basically in their life because they hated yeah. how their life was born or how they felt about themselves, and then this changed them. We're able to show women what other people see. Because when we look into the mirror, we see the same thing, and we and don't it's so love. easy to cut ourselves, you know, down. Right. But we're able to see, we're able to show them what other people see. Just by a little bit of hair and makeup, 
and some lingerie. And it's the whole process of it. You come in and you know, you know you're greeted at the door, and then you start the hair and makeup process and your lingerie and stuff. It's hung up. It's the whole like shebang of it that just goes. It's so much more. So I mean. Let's be real about it. I mean, what would y'all do if your husband told you you can't do it before? I'd go do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I, I mean. I think I'd be like, I book a session just because you told me not to. Uh -huh, exactly. Because like, I'm spiteful. Mm -hmm. I'm too. So, well, and see, with my wife, she she actually, she took pictures. So like, I think she loved the, the whole entire, you, the feel of it all. You know what I'm saying? It was the, uh, the, the experience. You know what I'm saying? Coming in, getting your makeup done, getting dressed, looking sexy, getting the pictures made, getting the pictures back, and then the pictures reflect how you feel. Right. I think that was It's a that moment thing. you can always look back on and feel good. Right. And, so, and I was kind of leery about it. You know, at first I was just like, ah, nah. Because you just somebody don't. Else gonna, somebody else going to see you naked. That's mine. I don't want nobody You just don't know me. much about the process. Because I know, before I even started working here, I didn't even know much about the process. Well, and what people don't realize is just because you come in for a session doesn't mean we automatically post their images all over social media. Right. And it autom it doesn't automatically mean that you have to be butt naked either. Yeah, That's you don't got to get naked. Session. You yeah. know, a lot of the times you can come in and you wear clothes. Ooh, my nose itching. <laughs> I didn't have to do all that. <laughs> but people don't realize that just because you come in and we photograph you doesn't mean that we're automatically going to share your photos on, on Facebook right. or Instagram or whatever. You have complete control of your images, and if you don't want them shared, then you don't have to have them shared. And I think what our clients need to be learning and doing is to educate their husbands and educate them on what this process is and why it's important. And educate them on, number one, I like men. Number two, I don't have to be naked. Number three, the other staff is female. Number four. Now this is something that I'm doing for myself that's going to make me feel good. Yeah. And if he want to come up in here, he can come too. Shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just telling the guys on the other end, the the, uh, the empowerment that the woman gets from this, you you get it on the back end. Oh, you my definitely. Wife, when she was like, when she felt sexy, she acted more oh, sexy. Oh, baby, you was getting it. Yeah, you, you know, was so. getting it. It comes, <laughs> home, it comes home with her. Well, yeah, the thing it, is, it does. Like, it comes home. It yeah. really does. It comes home. The thing that people don't understand is the way that you feel about yourself translates to other other things in your life the way you treat people the, your friendships your relationships with other people if you feel good about yourself and you love yourself then you treat other people good if right. you hate the body that you're in and you hate your skin and you hate how you feel and you have no self-esteem and self-worth then you treat other people badly because you're trying to make up for what you're lacking mm -hmm. i agree 100 percent you change the world one booty at a time one booty at a time all right, so we want to hear from you. What is your opinions on this? What do you think about men and their insecurities with the boudoir shoot? Leave your comments below, let us know your thoughts, and let us know what you want us to talk about in our next video. Ask questions. You ain't have to do all that. I did. <laughs>